Hello everybody and welcome to another theme craft tutorial video. My name is David and today we'll be taking a look at how we can display any information in the front end submitted through a form in a post, page or profile using the BuddyForms hook fields extension. Also, shout out to Leon Dixon, who's left a comment on one of our latest tutorials inspiring us to create this very tutorial video, which will surely help out plenty of users in the future. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for this tutorial, I'll be using a new locally installed WordPress site and the two plugins that I'll be needing are BuddyForms and BuddyForms hook fields. Once we have those two installed, we're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new form using BuddyForms. We'll go to add new, we'll pick the post simple template, and we can call this form, for example, books. We have our form builder right here, and we have a title, we have content. If you wanted to add another field, you can just click down here. For example, if you just wanted to add a basic text field, you can do that. And if you're happy with your form, hit publish. And now that our form is published, thanks to the BuddyForms hook fields extension, we get a new tab right here called hooks. So if we go to the text field, for example, and go to hooks, we get an option to choose where our value will be displayed. So if we go to the dropdown right here, we have a few options. We have none, so nothing changes. We have before title, after title, before content, and after content. I'll just quickly add another field so that we have a little bit more to work with here. So for example, I'll go drop down, add field. Let's edit it and add some values here. So we'll go A, B, and option C. So that's good. So I've added a drop down field. And now to show you how the BuddyForms hook fields extension works, I'll go ahead and edit the text, go to hooks, and we'll choose after content, a little drop down, go to hooks, and we'll choose after content. We'll update our form and let's go to view it. So we have our form right here and let's just quickly fill it out. So we'll go my first book content. This book is awesome. Text. Hello, and we'll choose option B. We'll go submit. The form was submitted successfully, and I'm just going to view my first post, and this is the way it looks. So we have my first book as the title field. This book is awesome as the content. Here's our text field and our drop down option right here. Now, let's say that you're happy with the way that your form looks. So you're happy that the title is at the top, followed by the content, the text, and the drop down. But when it comes to the published post itself, you would like to display the value of the drop down before the content. So the way you would do that without having to move the drop down field before the content field, which would alter the way that your form is displayed, what you can do is go to edit and right here in the hooks tab we have an option to choose for the value to be displayed before the content so now if we update our form and we'll go back to our post you can see that the value that we chose in the drop down menu is now displayed above the content and if we view our form you can still see that we have the drop down menu at the bottom but it'll be displayed above the content once the post is published also, if you ever wanted to display your values in a table form, excluding the title and the content fields because those are managed by WordPress. So if we wanted to get the text field and the dropdown field in a nice table, we can scroll down to the bottom and we have an option right here to add form elements as table. So if we check off this box right here, integrate this form and we go update, we're gonna view our posts again. And as you can see, we have our text and drop down values displayed in a nice table. So as you can see, using the BuddyForms hook fields extension, we have a basic solution to display our form element values before or after the title or content or displayed in a nice table after the content. It is even possible to use your own templates or even use Elementor to make templates. So if you would like us to make a video on that, then make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, subscribe to the ThemeCraft channel. This has been David from ThemeCraft and as always, thanks for watching.